The idea of ecosystem-based management is you don't manage ecosystems, but you do try and consider the ecosystem in a more holistic sense. Science. Distinguishing this place from all others. Where nature encroaches on the city and not the other way around. We're trying to bring together social scientists with uh, mathematicians, uh, geographers, biologists, physical oceanographers, uh, and bring them together with DFO scientists and also DFO policymakers to tackle this very difficult problem. How can we manage the, the oceans as effectively as possible? And so this new network of people interested in, in ocean management and ocean conservation, I think that the Canada Research Chairs program really helped to make that possible. Uh, because it did, as I say, give me the opportunity to speak uh, and it also gave me the time to pick up the phone and uh, type out the emails to all these people saying let's try and do something. So it's been a really wonderful opportunity. The thing that really excites me about it is that it focuses on ocean health and ocean biodiversity. And these are things that I've really been excited about for a very long time. And so the fact that it gives me a platform to stand in front of these people and say, here's what we're finding, isn't this exciting? Here's what we could be doing to make sure that we maintain all of what we've got. And, and I enjoy that. And, and I think it's important because uh, it isn't just one small group of scientists that's going to make a difference here. It's a much broader group of, of interested parties. Uh, if we're going to see change, then a lot of people have to buy into it. Uh, and so we've got to work at that. I didn't really know what to expect when I started doing research at Memorial. Um, I, I mean, I'm an undergrad student, so I didn't know the contribution that I was going to be making or um, the effects or anything about the research that I would be doing until I actually got there and started doing this research. Uh, the fact, I think the fact that we're focusing on Parkinson's disease, something that is in all populations, not only Newfoundland, it's global, it's a global uh, disorder. The ultimate goal is to find a cure, because there is no cure in humans as of right now. So you're, it's always in the back of your mind as you're going through, you're doing your lab work, you're pipetting things, you're running the gels, you're working with the flies, but ultimately you're thinking, if I could stumble upon something that cures Parkinson's disease in the fruit fly, perhaps this could be applied to humans down the road. And that seems to be the way the research is heading. We study birds to get information about the ocean, and there's lots of reasons for that. I mean, uh, these animals are beautiful. Um, they're ecologically significant. We have some of the largest colonies in the world and most accessible here. You know, in human analogy, they're Olympians, right? They're, they're perfect athletes. And that doesn't mean they're perfect. They're all, probably all different, but they're perfect in what they do. They have to be because they, they just have this tolerance of a few days to get food and find it, or, or, you just, or you just, you're not a survivor, you just die. And the questions really are, um, how do these animals cope with environmental change? You know, they might have to fly, and we see them do this because we can track them. We, they might have to fly further, they might have to dive deeper, and they do what they have to do to survive, right? And it's absolutely incredible. And But within that, you know, within that context, we sort of tap the information they give us about the water temperatures, where they're flying, how far they go, the fish that they're bringing back, and it's a real interesting, you know, it's behavioral ecology, and it's, it's a mix of, uh, you know, studying behavior and studying ecology and studying the environment. It's not like we have all the answers, but we have answers that we can contribute with other scientists from DFO, uh, you know, fisheries biologists here at Memorial, and, you know, help piece that together. But we know we're learning about the ocean, and we know there's a lot to learn, and we're going for it. I mean, that's all I can tell you. Memorial University Faculty of Science. Immerse yourself in one of the greatest living labs on Earth.